Okay. Move out. Alaska is the largest state in the Union, a vast area of over half a million square miles bounded by the Arctic and Pacific Oceans. Ninety-nine years ago, it was called Seward's Folly after the Secretary of State who purchased it from Russia for seven million dollars. Then it was thought to be a valueless wilderness. Today, there is still much wilderness, but it is hardly valueless. Vast natural resources have been discovered beneath the great tracts of land. Fishing boats and freighters crowd the busy ports. Alaska is on the move, a vital and prosperous state. Everywhere there are signs of growth. Each year more people arrive, particularly in the spring when the snow and ice begin to melt. New industries are flourishing around the growing cities like Anchorage and Seward. The coming of spring also means that ships can reach the coastal ports which have been icebound during the long winter months. The China comes into Valdez, the first ship the townspeople have seen in over four months. The China brings work to the people who have come down to the long dock to unload. It is March 27th, Good Friday. Although it is late in the afternoon, two of the crewmen, Fred Newmare and Ernest Nelson, try to get some pictures with their eight millimeter camera. Suddenly, the whole harbor of Valdez is sucked dry. Out in the Gulf of Alaska, the ocean bottom seems to sink. then heaves upward 50 feet, sending a giant wave towards shore. It tosses the china high and then smashes it down where the dock had been. Somehow, Fred Newmere manages to hang on and keep his camera running for part of this incredible trip. The harbor of Valdez is a seething whirlpool. The dock splinters, then disappears into the earth. No one on it will survive. The longshoremen, their children, and the dogs have disappeared. In the minutes that follow, the trimmer builds to a tremendous force and sweeps with terrible speed in a 500-mile arc. The great wave sweeps along the shore, striking ships, towns, and cities. In Anchorage, Alaska's largest city, buildings collapse, streets and homes slip into the earth. break out all over the stricken area. Oil tanks explode, sending flames shooting into the sky. The clock stopped at 5.36, and 15 minutes later, there was silence.
Alaska had just been struck by the worst earthquake.